All right, what is going on, ladies and laddies? I hope your days have been daddy so far. And in today's video, I have another commentary. I think I have the second episode of the France Chronicles, and it is about life abroad. Now, what's it like living abroad is the question that I'm going to be answering in today's commentary. So for those of you who may not know, I am from Scotland. I was born in Belgium originally, but I moved to Scotland when I was five and a half years old. And then I've lived in Scotland all the way up until where we are now. I'm now 20 years old. And now I'm living in France. And I have been for three months. I got here the 16th of September and it's now the 11th of December as of recording this. So, pardon me, that means that I've been living abroad by myself, well, not by myself, I have two flatmates, but without my family, for the first time in my life, in a foreign country. Now, this obviously pre presents uh, its own set of challenges, shall we say. First of all, foreign country, France. I've never lived in here before. Uh, this is my first time living in France. I have been to France on holiday a few times, but obviously a holiday is really different from actually living in a place. In terms of the language, how I'm getting on, it's fine. Honestly, my French is... I would say it's very, very good, and I've been told by natives that it's very good, so this isn't me just doing my own horner, horn, horner, horn, can't speak today. I've been told that my French is very, very good, so obviously the language isn't really a problem. It's like, I understand everything that gets said to me, even with French people um, speaking very quickly and with very closed mouths as well. It can be a hard language to interpret, but for me that doesn't represent an issue. And in terms of using my French, it's completely fine as well, because I can I have full-on conversations with, well, one of my flatmates is French, and then I have full-on conversations with my teachers at my job in French as well. Everyone around me is French, pretty much. There are a few other um, language assistants as well who, with whom I speak English, but for the most part, I am using French. So the language isn't tough. So the language is fine. In terms of culture shock, honestly, I... Again, yeah, man, it's not that bad. It's like the cultural changes, I guess, that I have to get used to were all pretty good for the most part. I mean, everyone here seems more helpful than in the UK and kind of nicer. I mean, I know the UK are stereotyped for having over good manners, but being completely honest with you guys, the manners are better in Europe than they are in the UK, so I don't know where that stereotype really comes from. On top of that, I find that living abroad has been a really, okay, this is going to sound super cliche, but so far it has been a really enriching experience. I mean, it really is a different style of life. And obviously there are some things that are similar, but some things are super different. I like those different things. Different is good. It can be scary. Change is scary, sure. But it's good. And I've really enjoyed living abroad so far, to be completely honest. Now, in terms of how much of a change this has been, it has been a big change. Um, for context, this is my first time living without my family um, in my 20 years of living because I didn't move out when I was when I was 18 or to start university because my university was only like a 15, 20 minute walk away from where I lived. So it was, it, it, it made sense just to stay at home. On top of that, the housing market in the UK is insane right now. So it's incredibly expensive to get, a, to get an apartment flat so if you don't have to you probably shouldn't that's kind of the consensus and my parents were happy to have me staying at home so this is my first time living abroad and i'm kind of or living alone sorry i'm kind of doing it by jumping in the deep end not only am i living with my family for the first time i'm doing it in a foreign country and i said that i do speak the language very well i do the culture shock hasn't been um hasn't been a negative experience it hasn't but, you, you know, you're still out of your country that you have grown accustomed to. Because prior to this, I'd lived in Scotland for around 14 and a half years. So I was very, very used to and comfortable in Scotland. And then suddenly, you take me, you put me across the English Channel and put me in France. It's completely different. And on top of that, not only do I have to get over the, the hurdles that come with living alone, I have to do it in a foreign country. But, like I said, it hasn't really been tough. I'm going to be completely honest, it hasn't been that difficult. I've got two flatmates, so loneliness, both of whom are really nice, so loneliness isn't a problem. Cultural differences haven't really been an issue at all, to be honest. Um, and like I said, the language really isn't a problem either, because my French is good enough to the point where I can live, I can live on language completely confidently. I can use it every day, I can converse, uh, no matter what conversational context I may be in, I can have a decent conversation in French. And I can understand uh, written documents, anything, any language that I would need to read or write or listen to or speak, I can. 
So language isn't an issue, the culture isn't an issue. The issue, uh, to be honest, I haven't really had many issues, but the one issue is getting used to having to do everything by yourself. And to be honest, I was already fairly independent when I was living at home. Um, you know, I, I helped her out around the house, I knew how to cook, you knew how to wash stuff, all that. So I already knew how to do chores. But the problem is, you need to remember to do that every day. And for the first um, couple of weeks, I kind of found some str- um, struggle with that. Just seeing the laundry pile kind of mount up, I realised, oh, I should do some laundry. Um, or I should do this, I should do that. You know, this needs done. I needed to stay on top of the chores that needed done, as well as working my job as well. And also socialising. Um, and also having some free time just to relax. So it was definitely kind of tough the first few weeks just keeping on, keeping track of everything that needs done now that I'm living completely independently. But it's definitely doable. If anyone watching this is going to be living independently uh, soon, or you are now, it'll definitely get better. It's kind of, there's a little learning period at first where you need, you know, you got to learn how to keep track of things and how to do things independently and figure out which things need done when and which order. But honestly, it's it's really not that tough, and this is coming from someone from whom this is their first time for whom this is their first time living alone, but also living abroad. You know, doing that experience of leaving the house and living uh, by yourself without your family independently, but it's harder because it's in a foreign country. But like I said, if I can do it in a foreign country, then it's definitely doable within your own country. And if you are going to do it in a foreign country, it's really not that bad at all. It's really not. For me, anyway, it hasn't been that difficult. Obviously, people have different levels of in, in independence, and it depends how homesick you feel, how much you miss your family. But life abroad, I'm gonna, I'm kind of rambling now, so I'm just gonna end it here. But life abroad has been really, really good. It's been this amazing adventure. It has already been three months, and it's kind of a double-edged sword in that it feels like I got here ages ago. But at the same time, it doesn't. Like, I can't believe it's already December. That's already been three months of living here. It has been incredible. And living abroad is such a great, enriching experience. Like I said, I know it's super stereotypical, but it's a stereotype because it's true. People always say that living abroad will broaden your horizons, and it really does. And it's honestly amazing just to leave your life in one country behind and move to another country and do everything differently speak a different language, be exposed to a different language and a different culture. It's honestly an absolutely amazing experience and I don't think I would change anything about my experience so far. So far, anyway. And in terms of problems I've run into, there haven't really been any significant ones at all. I, I wouldn't change anything about how I've been living, about how the experience has been. It has all been incredible. So that is what living abroad is like, or it can be like, best case scenario I would say obviously it could be worse depending on the country or your circumstances or your level of independence like I said also your age as well but for me it has been amazing and I would highly 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 recommend it anyways thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you did enjoy please feel free to toss like my way and possibly maybe consider subscribing that is always something you can do of course it's optional you don't have to if you're already subscribed I props to you and yeah I will see dudes on the other side. Peace out, people. Hey, welcome to my house. Baby, take control.